Hispanic Heritage Month has come to a close, but one ballet company southwest of the city is still celebrating its heritage while also bringing attention to mental health. Arts correspondent Angel Ido intros introduces us to Ballet 58. For the last 11 years, professional dancers with Ballet 58 in Orland Park have utilized the practice to not only express their passion, but to tell stories to a community lacking substantial art resources. The foot is just kind of beveled. Yeah, beautiful. Artistic but director oh, Juliana sure. Rubio Slaker yeah. believes and that commitment is important. Out here in the suburbs, there just tends to be a lack of awareness and understanding about how important the arts are. So what I love is that we have the chance to educate and to really bring that important cornerstone of the community to a place where nobody else is kind of in that space. They're currently using their work to educate their peers on a difference of identities with a Hispanic Heritage Month showcase. One is called Mi Familia. I wanted to create something that would show people the real heart of Mexican immigrants. Um, and the music is incredible. It's by Arturo Morquez. And it's this beautiful piece of music that kind of captures the highs and the lows of family life. And so the ballet is all about the joy of family. It's all about supporting one another and loving one another and living in community. So my hope is that it helps people to kind of walk a mile in somebody else's shoes. Miranda Rubio has been dancing professionally with the company for the past three years. Being of Hispanic heritage and white passing, Rubio says she's utilized her positionality to ensure that her primarily white colleagues feel comfortable dancing outside of their comfort zones. When we were staging Mi Familia initially, when I would use a Spanish term to refer to a flamenco step, they would then kind of re-say it, but in English or in another dance terminology that's similar. So we actually had a rehearsal and Miss Juliana set aside time at the beginning of that for me to be able to speak to the whole company and teach them, okay, here's how you say golpe, here's what a planta is, here's a tacón, and like kind of speak through what flamenco is, give them a little introduction to it. You know, ballet is all in French. Very few of us are actually French. We talk in French all the time. It's perfectly okay to do a dance style that is not from your country of origin and to respectfully use the terms that are used within that style of dance. Among these conversations of cultural awareness will also come stories addressing mental health issues. Dia de los Vivos. So it's a play on Dia de los Muertos but Dia de los Vivos means Day of the Living. And so this ballet actually is from my own journey with clinical depression. Um, that's something that I've struggled with on and off for about 10 years. What you'll see in the piece is that my family is kind of there, the people who have passed on, and they're encouraging me to choose life and to keep going. Um, and they're reminding me of the beauty of life and that though it does get difficult, my job is to carry on because of all the people who have come before me. So that's so important for artistic directors is to be honest about where they've been in that journey so that their dancers and then their students see that and go, oh, if I'm struggling, I can get help. Like, I want to see people decrease that stigma and really understand how vital it is that we take care of our mental health and that we strip back, um, I think, some of the expectation that artists are just perfect all the time. Whether it be educating non-diverse communities, mental health, or just telling a story on the importance of family, Ballet 58 hopes audiences leave with a sense of understanding. Looking past our differences and looking to what makes us the same brings us together far quicker than anything else will. For Chicago Tonight Latino Voices, I'm Angel Ito. And you can see more from the Ballet 58 Company in their Day of the Dead celebration. That's happening on October 31st. 90 floors up in the air at the 360 Chicago Observation Deck inside the John Hancock Building. Dates uh, for the company's other fall performances are on our website, although I don't think they call it the John Hancock Building anymore. And that is our show for this weekend. Be sure to check out our website, wttw.com news, for the very